and today is February 2nd, 2024, and it's the start of another weekend vlog. I want to apologize for our lack of weekend vlogs, guys. The past three to four weekends that we haven't vlogged have been very stressful because we either lost clips, we didn't film all weekend, or we forgot to film, but this weekend we are starting them back up because... If you guys haven't noticed, I created a makeup TikTok to start posting more tutorials over there. I'll probably post one tutorial here like once a week on YouTube, but now they're going to be more on TikTok and um, Makeup by Shauna 093. So if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, go check them out on that page. I just wanted to make more space for Mika and I because Mika hardly makes content and I wish he would because I would keep posting here but I just feel like the channel's looking more like mine and I don't want it to be like that because it's Mika and Shauna get the name <laughs> um so yeah so if you want to see this tutorial it is currently up on my TikTok right now and yeah, I'll figure out a schedule so maybe Monday and Friday will be TikTok, Wednesday would be YouTube but you guys will either see a tutorial here um, once a week. Um, so yeah, peace for now, guys. Um, currently what I'm doing is just watching a show on Netflix called Fool Me Once. It's really, really good. I recommend it. Um, the last couple weekends, though, I was talking about Made from Netflix. I don't know if they have it anymore, but that's another favorite of mine. I couldn't stop watching it. Um, but yeah, currently we're just hanging out. Naruto's over here. Naruto, baby, you want to come say hi? Want to come say hi? He's relaxing in his sweater. Do you like your sweater? Look at that. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. So, yeah. Hey, guys. So, here's just Mika showing you guys how to make Bishkoshi dolls. They actually didn't come out as good because we didn't have all the ingredients but Mika tried at least and this is just kind of like a sneak peek for in the future when he makes them again he can definitely record it for you guys but yeah they are a Mexican cookie and they're very very delicious I highly recommend making them if you are into cookies and sweets hey guys I'm currently taking off my makeup I have to tell you guys, the Garnier Makeup Remover Merclear Water is so much better than the wipes. I used the Neutrogena wipes for a very long time, and then I was introduced to this in a Walmart's, um, it was like a Walmart's favorites or something that they had back during Christmas, and it was their skincare box, and I bought one. And they had that in there, and I fell in love with it. So, if you're using the Neutrogena wipes or makeup wipes in general, I would recommend testing this out for yourself. So much better, in my opinion. 10 out of 10. No hate to Neutrogena wipes, because they did work for me for a very long time. But I just like something that hydrates my skin. And I feel like the Neutrogena one, it didn't actually hydrate my skin. It, like, made my skin, like, dry out. And this one hydrates it. So, yeah, I'm going to get off and do a face mask probably. And just relax for the rest of the night. I'll show you guys the face mask here in a little bit. Also, don't mind my bra strap. It's so annoying. But anyways, this is the mask I'm using. It is the Freeman Clearing Peel-Off Clay Mask. It has sweet tea and lemon, and it brightens. So, gonna apply this, and I'll show you what it looks like after I apply it. So here it is. This is my skin mask. I have to wait 10 to 15 minutes, or until it's dry to start peeling it off. And then I'll show you guys me peeling it off a little bit. So just stay tuned. If you want to see it in depth, like in full depth of me applying it, etc, etc, that is on my makeup TikTok, which I talked about at the beginning, so go check it out. 
Okay guys, I had to add this in here and it's hilarious and let me just get to the little story time. So I have already used this face mask like a couple of times and for some reason on this particular night, it hurt. Like when I was filming me taking it off, I literally had to cut out the audio because I was cussing under my breath. It hurt. And let me just tell you guys, I shave off the hair on my face using those face razors so there was no hair on my face whatsoever it should have only hurt like around the brows and around the hair it literally hurt all the way down the skin so yeah but i finally got it off so let's continue with the vlog shall we but i had to put that in there because it was hilarious i was struggling so after some pulling and stuff i had to get a warm rag and take it off of my hair and stuff but this is how it looks now I'm going to put some of this lotion because this is the only lotion that we have that works good for me. I'm sad because it's almost out and I need more, but hopefully we could get some more towards the end of the month or something. I'm going to try to make this last for like a couple weeks. But let's go ahead and put some on. So now I'm just applying my lotion. Oh my gosh, guys, this feels amazing. That hurt really bad. Also, we could just burn his hand. But he's alright. He's putting a rag on it right now. See, he's over there. And there's not our toast. <laughs> you okay? So I've tried baking biscochitos. To film for you guys, right? I literally added the stuff. And after I was cooking and prepared everything, I ended up researching. Just because I wanted to make fucking content, right? I need an egg and freaking butter. What do I do? Well, it looked freaking good, thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna work out because I read that freaking, what's it called? You could not add butter and egg. Okay, so I ended up doing it. <laughs> I was hoping it would just look wonky, like I told Sean. When I went to look for there, it looks like freaking cake. It looks like cake, and then I will do a stupid fucking thing I do. Touch it to see if it was like warmer <laughs> or in the hot spot. Just seconds away from me taking it out. And, um... It's just red and stuff like that. But note to self don't touch it when you get it out. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, right now, it just looks like that. <laughs> no blistering or nothing. Mm, yeah, so that's why I said he's alright and I'm not freaking out or anything. But yeah, here's my little face for the night. But yeah, I might um, say goodnight here, guys. It's about 1.51 and I'm going to drink some water, finish up some content for tomorrow, and yeah. So... I guess that's something we could add into the video. I tried vlogging. I tried vlogging, guys. But, I mean, I could show a little bit of me cooking and how wonky it looks. <laughs> a cooking fail, we call it that. Yeah, cooking fail. And Mika ends up burning his fingers. Anyways. So yeah, guys, I'm going to say goodnight here. Um... Mika could say goodnight if he wants to in a little bit, but I'm going to say goodnight now because I have to clean the bed off and let's go. Also, guys, so Mika and I saw these at Walmart and we were tempted to try them. These are Doritos Dynamites. So, guys, in this clip, Mika is showing you his fingerprints that he left in the cookies. And he burnt the crap out of his fingers because... The cookies did not come out. Like I said in the beginning, we didn't have all the ingredients and the cookie dough got stuck to his fingers. So, 
Yeah, but Mika's okay. Okay, before I was really erupted, we decided to try these because Mika and I, we used to eat Takis and Hot Cheetos and stuff like that, but we haven't done it in a while because that shit's just too hot to deal with half of the time. But we wanted to try these because this little base Mika remembers from Mexico. And I know we're on a diet or whatever, but like we told you guys, we're going to treat ourselves here and there. And it's not really a big bag for two people. But anyways, um, I mean, what, what I mean, it's enough size bag for two people. Anyways, um, so we got these to try and let me tell you guys, these are so freaking bomb. Especially with nacho cheese, like, but anyways. Yeah, guys, good night. See you tomorrow. And thanks for watching tonight. Bye. Hey, guys. We just woke up, and here's how my face looks today. Really shiny and smooth. Like, this feels amazing on my skin. Like, I love that face mask so, so much. Anyways. Hey guys, so we just took showers and we just had a little self-care time. Um, I clipped my toenails, my fingernails, cleaned under them. Probably going to do my nails this weekend because I haven't worn nail polish in forever. I'm not going to wear any of my false nails because I'm waiting to go to my sister-in-law's where she could do my nails for me. Um, but I want to show you guys some clothes that Mika's mom got me. I'll have Mika get me them and hold them. For you guys can see, so hold on just a bit. Hey guys! Hi everyone. So do you want to tell them? Or do you want me to tell them? Uh, well, I have a gentleman I need to actually. Know. Okay. So my mom actually um, borrows this and um, she was knocking and knocking and we were freaking out. We were, couldn't hear because we had the TV all loud and stuff. And just because this little guy likes to bark at everything he hears. So, uh, yeah, I called her and stuff like that because he was barking. But uh, she gave me the bag and uh, it was for Sean. Yep, she got me these pants. They're kind of like dressy pants. But these are very comfortable. Are these the other ones of these or those are the different kind? The different. Okay. So, there's one of those. Okay, Mika. Then, these, I think these are the ones I'm currently wearing, right? Or no? Um, oh, no. Those, so this is another pair of the ones you guys just saw. They're like dressy pants, but they're super comfortable. Okay. These are like... Oh, yeah. So, these are the ones I'm currently wearing. You want to hold them up a little bit more? So, these are like um, Caprice, I guess. They're super comfortable. I have the pair on right now, and I love them. I'm so happy! And then, these are another one of the ones before the black one that Mika showed you. And, yeah. These are like more of those dressy... There we go. And then, my mom picked this out. Uh, it wasn't a strong decision. Um, I'm still grateful, though. Just FYI. So, she got me this blouse, which is super cute. I don't agree with the color. Because to me, like, the color is, like, copper. I never liked copper. Like, the color. It's still cute. I bet I'm going to rock it. Will you like it if I'm wearing it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that's what I got from Mika's mom. So shout out to Mika's mom for being an MP. I love them so, so much. Yeah, and then, like, the cool thing is that they had this design and, like, uh, I didn't have to struggle to put this... On inside because it just went through it. Yep. Peace for now, guys. Take a hundred. Hey, guys. I have so many bloopers, by the way. 
of me just trying to sit here to freaking film this video for y'all, but I'm currently, and there goes Naruto trying to dig a hole on the bed. <laughs> Anyways, I am just here trying to send a bunch of makeup clips and stuff to my iPad to use on my makeup TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, I wanted to show you all a package that I got from the TikTok shop. So Mika and I ordered some stuff from the TikTok shop and one of the things I got was this Essence What the Fake Plumping Lip Filler. It has cinnamon oil, hydrogenic acid, and vitamin E. And Essence prices remind me of e.l.f. Cosmetics products when I was growing up. And let me tell you guys, e.l.f. has gotten expensive, so if you're looking for a additional drugstore brand that literally has really good reviews and I've seen everyone rave about it on TikTok, I definitely recommend checking them out. I will be doing a first impressions and review on Mika and Shauna's TikTok. And I will be providing a link to have you go directly to purchase one. It is only $3 and so worth it so far. I smelled it and it smells amazing. I've swatched it and it's phenomenal. I haven't tried it on my lips yet because I'm waiting for that until this week sometime. But definitely go and check it out. Also, little man's over here trying to fall asleep. <laughs> and Mika's over there on his phone. But I'm going to say goodnight for now, guys. Um, also, we got a grocery order that's coming tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't find a ride to the store, which is totally okay because for some reason, Walmart finally decided to work. So we're going to be getting a grocery delivery in the morning, and Mika will film a grocery haul for you guys to put up sometime this week. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and see you all tomorrow when we wake up. Peace and love. Hey guys, we just got our groceries delivered and Mika and I are going to be eating a sandwich and a little bit of chips and dip as our meal for lunch because we haven't eaten nothing. And yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing. Mika just found a grocery haul, so stay tuned for that. I think it's on TikTok. It's actually, I'm working on the hashtags. Okay, so it's going to be up on TikTok already, and a sneak peek is up on YouTube, so peace, guys. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek of our grocery haul from Walmart. Uh, if you guys want to see the whole video, uh, you guys could actually go to TikTok and see it over there. But yeah, guys. Um, I just wanted to add this to the vlog. And, um, hope you guys are liking our videos. Thumbs it up if you want to see more of this or more of Shauna or me or together and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to start the video for the grocery haul. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day and talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I forgot to finish the vlog last night, but we're eating leche con rolls or rice pudding, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm making our first healthy meal since getting our grocery haul. And yeah, but um, I decided to end the vlog now. Mika will say goodbye. But I'm saying goodbye now. Peace, guys. Love you.